On one particular trip, I was about 10 years old. I was rolling around in the big bench seat in the back of the car. My grandfather was driving. And my grandmother had the passenger seat. She smoked throughout these trips, and I hated the smell. At that age, I'd take any excuse to make estimates and do minor arithmetic. I'd been hearing an ad campaign about smoking. I can't remember the details, but basically the ad said, every puff of a cigarette takes some number of minutes off of your life. I thought it might have been two minutes per puff. I estimated the number of cigarettes per days, estimated the number of puffs per cigarette, and so on. When I was satisfied that I'd come up with a reasonable number, I poked my head into the front of the car, tapped my grandmother on the shoulder, and proudly proclaimed, At two minutes per puff, you've taken nine years off your life. I expected to be applauded for my cleverness and arithmetic skills. But that's not what happened. Instead, my grandmother burst into tears. I sat in the back seat and did not know what to do. While my grandmother sat crying, my grandfather, who had been driving in silence, pulled over onto the shoulder of the highway. He got out of the car and came around and opened my door and waited for me to follow. My grandfather looked at me and after a bit of silence, he gently and calmly said, Jeff, one day you'll understand that it's harder to be kind than clever. This is part of 2010 Princeton Baccalaureate Remarks by Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon, the world's largest e-commerce company. His speech went on like this. What I want to talk to you about today is the difference between gifts and choices. Cleverness is a gift, kindness is a choice. Gifts are easy. They're given after all. Choices can be hard. You can seduce yourself with your gifts if you're not careful, and if you do, it'll probably be to the detriment of your choices. Will we take pride in our gifts or pride in our choices? When you are old and in a quiet moment of reflection narrating for your life story, the telling that will be most compact and meaningful will be the series of choices you have made. In the end, we are our choices.